Thanks, Aaron. When the TPU strand was developed into the southern Golden Gate Estates, a network of more than 250 miles of roads was built, and a canal system was installed to drain the wetlands. But when the water went, so did the native flora and fauna. Now, in order to restore a more natural sheet flow of water to the area, 80 miles of roadways, the canals that flank them, and all of the structures are being removed. Just Kibbett, an engineer with the South Florida Water Management District, says a pump system is being implemented in order to maintain the existing level of flood protection for homeowners to the north, while at the same time allowing for a sheet flow of water through the Picayune Strand area. What it'll do is actually take that water so it's shooting it straight down the canal to the south. It'll spread it across the top of the site. In restored areas where the water is starting to reclaim the land, Kibbett says you can already see the difference. You go out there today, or you can start to see nature taking back over. So you start seeing the vegetation change, uh, more of the uh, cypress coming back, some of the uh, royal palms start to show up. Panthers are moving back in, as well as wading birds and alligators. Restoration managers are encouraging people to make a trip out to enjoy the changes in Picayune. I think it's a great place for people to go out and see and take the time not just to see what was restored, but what wasn't restored. I think it gives people an understanding of what we're doing out there, that restoration is possible, and that there's just incredible benefits for it, for the wildlife and vegetation and for recreation. Special thanks to Jeff Kibbett. I'm Marilyn Cruz.